the aim of the program is using TCP IP sockets, write a client server program to make the client send the file name and to make the server send back the contents of the file if that file is present on the server. So now, firstly, before starting the pro program itself, we should know what is the major difference between a UDP and a TCP IP connection. The major difference is that the UDP does a connection using datagram sockets, whereas TCP does it using stream sockets. Now, the difference between these two, stream sockets and datagram socket, is that the stream socket, socket guarantees the delivery of the packets on the network, whereas in datagram sockets, the delivery is not guaranteed. Also, that stream socket, if the input is given in sequence like ABC, the uh, on the server side, it is received as ABC, whereas in datagram, it's not necessary that what the input has been given through client, same will be received by server or vice versa. Here, we can see the TCP client code. In the first line itself within the main class, the line is socket, uh, object of that socket class, and then the parameters. The parameter is basically the server address, whereas you can see the socket class comes from the package java.net.star. So we are importing that package so that we can access the socket and we are creating a client socket package. Then the client prompts to enter the file name. So to read that, we are using here a buffered reader class. The buffered reader class reads text from a character input stream, buffering character so as to provide for the efficient reading of characters. But what user enters is in the form of byte. So we use input stream reader, input stream read, in, input stream reader as a bridge. It is a, a class that acts as a bridge from byte streams to character streams. Uh, it reads bytes and decodes them into character using specified character set. Then uh, we normally using a variable of string data type to store the file name. Then we are using output stream. The output stream, the output stream is the class representing an output stream of bytes. It accepts output bytes and sends them to some sync. The sync over here is the socket, the sock variable which we created using the socket class, that is our client socket. Then we are using print writer class and creating an object of it, p, the p write. And we are passing two parameters which I'll explain. Uh, but firstly, we should know what is the use of this print writer. The print writer class in Java, it provides the formatted representation of object to a text output stream. Basically, to print this output onto the screen, we are using a print writer object. As you can see, we are using that object and printing the file name onto the screen. So, by this line, the file name is transferred to the server. The next line, we are using input stream class, creating an object of it, I stream. This class is used to receive or input a stream of bytes. That is, once the file name is sent, if the server ha has having that file, so it will send the content back. We need to receive it. In order to receive those set of bytes, we are using this input stream. So, get input stream will get the whatever content the server has sent in the variable i stream. Now to print it onto the screen again we are using the same process. Buffered reader class creating a object of it using input stream reader as a bridge to convert this received input file into characters and store it into this object of buffered reader class known as socket read. Now we declare a normal uh, variable of type string so as to print the content to the user so as Now the loop starts while the string variable is having content, that is, the content is not null. It will print the content to the screen of the user and whatever the file server has sent, one can see. So let's just summarize this TCP IP client code. Uh, the first line itself here is socket, which we are using to create a client socket. And we are passing the server address to connect with the server. Once the connection is done, it will ask you for the file name and to read this file name, we are, you, we are doing this one, two and three steps. Firstly, uh, we are taking the input of the 
uh, whatever file name user has entered into an input string reader which will combine the bytes into the character as because buffered reader stores a character set. In this object, we are or buffered reader, the uh, characters that is characters representing the file name is stored. Using the function dot read line of buffered reader class, we are extracting that file name to the normal string variable f name. Now, uh, once we have taken the input name from the user, uh, input file name from the user, we should send it to the server. So we use output string which uh, str outputs a stream of bytes and we are sending uh, we are also creating a print writer class object p write the parameter specified is o stream and true this represents the file name and this represents whether the auto flushing of new line should be done or not so here we have specified as true so auto flush is on so it will create a print writer of this file using auto flush true and using this object of print writer class, we'll send this file name to the server. Now we're using input stream to receive the content of the file sent by the server. We are storing the set stream of bytes received in I stream variable, and then we have to again convert it to the characters using buffered reader class and the bridges input stream reader, which actually converts the byte into characters. We are storing, we are extracting the data from the socket read uh, object of buffered reader class using dot read line into the variable str and we are starting a while loop uh, till this file is not null it will uh, output all the content to the screen and then we are closing all the connections done. This is on the client side. So this is the TCP server side code. Here all the packages are similar to that of client except for this one packet java.net.serversocket. This server socket, the server socket class represents a server socket. It is constructed on a particular port. Here it is 4000 which we passed on client side as well. Then it calls a dot act, sorry, then it calls a accept function which is uh, used to listen to the all incoming connections. So basically we are creating a server socket known as serve soc by passing the port number and then the server is ready for any connection. To listen or handle to those connections we are creating another socket, normal socket uh, object SOCK using that server socket variable and this accept function. Once this is done the server is connected to the client and it will show this message connection success we are waiting for file name there once the uh, client sends the file name to the server the same thing happens uh, we are first declaring an input stream variable to handle the bytes received from the client side those bytes will be considering the file name then we are passing this i stream to the input stream reader which will convert it into a set of characters and will be stored in the object pr of buffered reader class. Then using this object and the function read line of buffered reader class we are extracting the file name to this string f name. Then we are again declaring uh, an object of buffered reader class so as to hold the content of that file and send it to the client. So here we are using file reader. Instead of input stream reader, we are using file reader. This file reader will read the set of characters stored in this file name specified as f name and then it will pass this into this object of buffer reader class content read. Then we are using an output stream variable OS which will help us to send this file to the client side. Again we are declaring a print writer class object passing this output stream as the file name and auto flush as true. We are creating a we are declaring a variable str of string data type and we are extracting the content of that file through this content read object using dot read line into this variable str. Until this is not null it will send all these content to client side that is it will write the content to the client side using this p write object 
and once the uh, transfer is done it will show this message file contents are sent successfully and all the connections are closed so to summarize in the first line we are creating a server socket to a spe uh, specific port and then uh, we are using the socket to accept all those incoming connections on that server using accept function then once the connection is done we are waiting for uh, the file name to input this we are using input stream reader input stream reader over here and passing this i stream as a parameter to it which contains the file name and then we are holding it into buffer reader class object same thing we are extracting that into a, a string variable passing that string variable indicating the file name to this file reader class over here which will extract the characters from this file and store it into content read and then this content read uh, object will be used with read file to print or write all the contents to the client side using the object of print writer class and so the pr transfer will be done Now let us see the execution of these, this program. First, we'll open two command prompts: one for client side and one for the server side. And we create, uh, we'll create two uh, files on the desktop: one named as client and other named as server. Now we'll compile the Java file. Java C. The name you have given to your file. Once it is compiled, we will now write the output using the command java on the class name. See, now it is showing the server socket is created and it is showing server ready for connection. Now we will compile the client side file java c pcp client. Suppose I have stored the file as tst.test.txt. So you can see this is some random characters I have stored. I have received all the characters on my client side and on the server side. Once connection successful, it was waiting for file name. As we entered the file name, it sent it the it sent it as the content and once the transfer was over the file contents we will see successfully message was shown so this is how we execute the tcp ip program thank you